Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tips and Tricks for Tableau. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do another new thing in under five minutes. Today I'm going to show you how to hide and unhide certain portions of your dashboard. As you can see, we have a basic dashboard with two or three KPIs. If we have paralegal, we see two values. If we see nurse, we'll see that a third value dynamically pops up. Now there's many ways to do this. I'm going to show you one of the simplest ones. Basically what we're doing is we're hiding this bottom KPI whenever it has a negative value. If you notice, I'll select paralegal once again, you'll see it disappear. But if I move it, you'll see that the value is still there. We just have a worksheet on top of it that is hiding it whenever the value is negative. So to do this, it's actually pretty simple. There are multiple ways of doing it, so I'm going to be showing you my favorite and one of the simplest. So what we're going to be doing first is going to the dashboard itself and duplicating the worksheet that we want to base our calculations on. We basically want to hide this value whenever it's negative. The value is being powered by compared to Europe. So I'm going to create a hide filter. It's going to be compared to Europe is less than zero. This is basically going to create a Boolean that is a true or false. I'm going to bring it to my filters and say, I want this to be always true. So right now, this is only going to show me values where it is less than zero. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and do one more thing, bring my occupation mentions to the row. So when I have nurse, you see that I have no values displaying. And if I select, let's switch this to single value select and go back to paralegal, we'll see that indeed we do have some data. Now, the reason we have the logic a bit backwards for displaying negatives is because we want this to display when there's a negative and hide our worksheet. So I'll hide the headers and instead of having text, I'll go ahead and switch this to detail. I'll go ahead and switch this to a white font and just like that. Now we have a blocking mechanism. I like to disable the tooltips, click OK. And as you could see, when I select nurse, this will completely disappear. So now that we have our hiding worksheet, Let's go ahead and, and apply it. Since we duplicated the worksheet itself from an existing worksheet, this filter should automatically be attached to it. When I bring my new worksheet right here, you'll see that it's not covering anything, which is fine. I want to make sure that I have it set it up to fit entire view. All right, so nurse should display the value, which it is. Let's go ahead and do paralegal. And you will notice that just like that, paralegal is now gone. So go ahead and give it a shot. Let me know if you have any other questions. And thank you so much for watching.